Hello, um, my name is Jake Meckley. This is Cynthia Rios, Matthew Panitza, and Harrison Strag. Um, today we have a presentation on an autonomous water surface vehicle, which is used for um, taking water quality measurements and uh, giving assistance to researchers on aquaculture ponds. Basically, we were given this boat as a frame and tasked with making the electronics and uh, functionality much better. So we've upgraded the electronics from an old Arduino, given it GPS and LTE capabilities so that it can uh, talk over much longer distances and get commands much faster to move. Um, we've upgraded a solar panel and given it a new battery system and um, upgraded the electronics inside as well. And so what I worked on doing was creating a website that displayed coordinates but was also in charge of creating the checkpoints for the path that this can follow because it's autonomous. Um, on the website you can also change drive modes, uh, you can see all the sensor data and it also includes a geospatial database to make sure that that's all kept track of. Now I've been working on the uh, communication between the bot and we have an onshore controller here that Jake is currently plugging in. Um, so this short onshore controller is meant to uh, send commands to the bot like motion data and as well as uh, like target GPS latitude and longitude. And this also has Raspberry Pi connected within it so that the Raspberry Pi sends commands to the controller which sends them over to the robot. You tell it a target latitude and longitude and it uses a combination of a GPS and a compass to get the bot to route to that specific spot. Um, I also worked on the communication algorithm so that way the bot has reliable communication from the shore to the bot with the lowest latency possible um, using like a 900 megahertz radio that gets you long range communication that's quick but then if that fails then we have LTE to back that up. As part of our project we were tasked with upgrading the power and motor systems um, from the 10 year old system that was there before. So we've upgraded the solar panel from a 12 watt to a 100 watt solar panel. Um, we've built a custom waterproof lithium ion battery pack um, that doubled the battery capacity on the boat and we replaced the motors um, with propeller based brushless motors uh, which are more efficient and it can go at faster speeds now so that we can put it in the intercoastal waterways where it may face more current than it would in a pond previously. Our uh, main circuit board inside of the robot is this. Um, this board has plugs for sensors so that uh, researchers can swap out different kinds of sensors from Atlas Scientific and um, they go outside of the enclosure so that they can measure things and send it back to the shore. This board also has support for the uh, communication and for programming a microcontroller on top of it and that is uh, an overview of our project. 